Try to get dang Hey guys, so it's Saturday and it's Lauren here and this week on the channel our one topic is to do superlatives which are the fun question things in the back of yearbooks that most likely to die alone and marry a goat and stuff so that's what we're doing. So I'm just gonna dive right into it because I have my list of our 14 questions here and the answers are hopefully up here somewhere so the first one is who is most likely to get ID'd at 30? Um, I'm going to stick with what I think the group has kind of decided and that is K. K has them Filipina jeans and is just gonna look like 17 forever which is awesome and I'm super jealous. Whatever these lines are, I already got those going on so I'm gonna look 80 when I'm 50. Cool. Question number two is who is the biggest flirt on the channel and according to everybody else's videos this is either me or Maddie. Mostly me I think because according to Trey I just flex my arm muscles and play music and wink at people in bars which is true so. Hey Trey. What's up girl? <laughs> I don't do that to people. <laughs> So dumb. I think when I got this new tattoo, I did that a lot in videos because I just liked seeing it. So my arm was usually up and it just kind of became this stupid trademark thing that I've started. So I am going to say that the biggest flirt on the channel is either Kelly or Maddie. Although Maddie does get kind of oddly nervous around girls sometimes, so just so you know. So I'm gonna say maybe Kelly. Um, Kelly just like has girlfriends. Like, not in a bad way. Like, my love life success rate is, like, here, and then Kelly's is, like, up here. So, she's gotta have some game going on. Number three is who would be the best to take home to mom and dad, and I'm gonna say Haley for this one. Um, Haley has met my parents, and they thought she was a very nice young lady, so Haley for that one. Number four is who is the most changed on the channel, and I'm definitely gonna say Kelly for this one, um, only because she did start on the channel when she was 16, which is crazy to me because when I was 16 I had nothing important to say to anybody so the fact that she was giving out good advice at that age is awesome and she's still giving out good advice but I feel like in those 16 to 19 I think is like a big change time those three years like I changed a lot in that time so I think Kelly has as well. Number five is who is most likely to be married with kids. I said Erica for this one just because she has some kind of family situation going on now and I, by the way, I get no love on this, like, loves children train that everybody's hopping on. And I work with kids. I take portraits of tiny babies every day. And yet I seem to just, nobody knows that I like kids. Number six is who is most likely to be a hot mom. And I think if any of us have kids, we'd be hot moms. Because, like, all the other girls on the channel are really good looking, so. But I'm going to say Trey for this one because I can see Trey with, like, her, like, tray of baked cookies and like her kids come home and they're like mom what's up and she's just like fucking awesome and has like her cookies <laughs> all you have to do to be a good mom to me is have cookies apparently so tray will be a hot mom and bake cookies and have like the apron and be like a super hot mom stuff okay cool number seven is who is most likely to streak at a football game um i would say me but i am done streaking in public so i'm gonna say maddie although i feel like it would be maddie in canada with me so we'd probably both be doing it but I'm gonna say Maddie as well because if there's alcohol involved Maddie will do it it's just a thing it's just a fact in the world so Maddie will streak at a game she'd do it number eight is the best or cutest couple that never was um, I don't understand why everybody's saying me and Maddie because you guys are obviously reading the question wrong it is couple that never was and me and Maddie are so that love is very real and we're just so happy together, so happy. So I'm gonna say the cutest couple that never was is Kelly and Jess because I know that they have met and I think they were both single when they met so just gonna leave it at that. I don't know any facts but I have thought of them so they now exist. Number nine is who is most likely to spend a night in jail. I have two possible options for this one and the first one is Shayna because I do feel like she'd be like at some peace rally and just get really riled up and just like just push an officer and then apologize but then she'd still get arrested. The other one is Kelly because if you follow Kelly on any social media really she posts a lot of pictures of her doing these like weird tedious art school things that I don't know what they are. It's always like wool and wood 
and like yarn and it's like 27 hours later it's a sweater somehow. I don't know how it works but she does it and it's a lot of long hours so I could see her on like hour 20 just taking a knitting needle to somebody who just pisses her off and just blood's flying everywhere and Kelly was like don't get it on my alpaca sweater it's just a whole big thing and then she's in jail. Number 10 is who is most likely to be president or prime minister and this one's obviously Jess because if you've ever heard her talk she sounds like she is already president or prime minister of something and she would just be really good at it so I'm gonna say Jess for that one. Number 11 is who is the best kisser on the channel and I hate when this is asked only because I feel obligated to be honest with you guys and speaking from experience I think we've said this before so I'm not just dropping any bombs this has been said on the channel before I believe I'm gonna have to say Haley. she's the only person on the channel who I have kissed um, and it was a long time ago. Sorry, Haley's girlfriend. It was a very long time ago. And uh, but speaking from experience, she was the only one who I have kissed. So, Haley. Okay. <laughs> Number twelve is life of the party. And for this one, I said uh, Jess because she's like very loud and she likes to talk. And I feel like if you just put her in a room full of people and alcohol, she wouldn't just be sitting there quietly. She'd be like performing a routine on the table or something. That's how I picture Jess at parties. So I should party with Jess, basically. That's what should happen. And the other person this could possibly be is Haley, because I know for a fact if you give her enough gin or any liquor, she it's very fun. She's fun sober too, but she's just... I've seen her at the gay bars on a lot of liquor, and she has a good time, so Haley as well. Number 13 is Class Clown, and this one is probably gonna have to go to Maddie, I would say. Um, I can very easily see her being that girl in like high school and elementary school who is just always asked to leave the room for distracting all the other kids and like the girl who wrote like boobies on her calculator and showed everyone and everyone giggled or pulled people's pants down and stuff. That would definitely be Maddie. Number 14 is who has the biggest heart and I could cop out and say everybody on this channel but I think we obviously all have big hearts so that goes without saying. Um, I'm gonna give this one to Maddie. Not to say that her heart is bigger than everybody else's, but um, again, speaking from experience, Maddie is one of my very best friends and has been there for me through everything, um, more so than probably anybody else in my life. So um, I'm gonna say Maddie for that one because she's been a very big part of my life and has kept me strong and sane many a time. And we have a lot of drunken Skype sessions for like five hours and it's just, she's just a big part of my life and I know that the girl has a massive heart so I'm gonna give that one to Maddie. So there are my answers for our superlatives. Um, if you disagree or want to share your opinion, I'm gonna put all the questions there and you can write down who you think is the winner for all of these. And uh, yeah. So I will see you guys all next Saturday and have a good rest of the week slash next week and just be happy and stay sexy because I love y'all. So bye guys!